how to use LastPass to ease the tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with LastPass. So let's get into it. Now, LastPass is a simple and easy to use platform, which enables you to autopilot all of your passwords. All you have to do is log in and go. You will have a passwordless login. You can generate strong passwords, store your digital records, and share your passwords effortlessly. So this enables you to have a safe and secure method to save all of your passwords while you are still safe and have a good security against a lot of these uh, cyber criminals that are out there because online information and data is now very, very vulnerable to being stolen. So it's very essential to make sure that you are storing your passwords in a safe manner. Now, all you have to do to get started with lastpass.com is go on to lastpass.com and click on get the last pass on the top right over here. And once you do that, you're going to begin by creating your account. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enter my email address, enter my password and then i'm going to confirm my master password and now after you've entered your email address and your password you're going to click on sign up it's free on the bottom over here and there are just certain requirements you have to fulfill for your password as well and then after that once you've done that all you have to do is click on install lastpass so lastpass will be installed into your browser you're going to click on add extension over here so we're just waiting for lastpass to be downloaded onto our browser so now lastpass Pass has been added in our Chrome extensions. Now you can see this will open up the LastPass homepage where you can get started with your password savings. So you will see on your left you have a collapsible navigation panel, and in your navigation panel, you can open this up. You have your homepage, which is your all items page, then you have your password page, you have notes you can add over here, which is a form of having secure notes. Let's say if you want to note down some password for some company or business, or there's some key code that you need to remember, then you can store all that data and information over here in a secure manner. Now below that, you also have addresses. So you can never want to autofill addresses. So if you're ordering online, or if you have to enter your business address, or if you have any kind of addresses that you need to save and enter constantly, then you can save them over here. And you can also add your payment cards, your credit card info over here as well. Have a autofill option where it's still going to be secure. You don't have to save your card information on random websites every time they ask. You will just autofill it via LastPass and LastPass will be the only one that has that information saved. And below that, you have your bank accounts as well. So you can add your savings and checkings account from over here as well. And you can choose to fill them out in any of your forums or documents that you fill out online. Now below that, you have a security dashboard as well. So in your security dashboard, they will tell you what are your at-risk passwords, you have trusted devices and prevented mobile devices. Then you also have sharing center where you can have a shared folder with others. Let's say if you're running a business, a corporate business, then you have certain passwords that you have to share with the rest of your employees and you can easily manage those over here. Then you also have emergency access where you can add people you trust or people who trust me. And you can see the people that have sent you as your emergency contact or the people that you're going to set as your emergency contact because let's say you forget your master password in any bad situation, then you will have someone else that can recover your account for you. Below that, you have your account settings where you can have your account settings, all of the basic details like your number and all that. Then you also have passwordless options. You have multi-factor options, mobile devices, never URLs, such as like, let's say you want to turn off LastPass on a specific device. Uh, let's say you don't want to ever use LastPass on Wish or on AliExpress. So whenever you're shopping from there, you don't want to maybe purchase items from a specific credit card. So you can add that never URL function over here as well. Now below that, you have your advanced options where where you have different import export and security options now to get started let's say we have our basic account and we're going to click on password over here and you're, you can choose either two options you can choose to import many passwords at once to last pass or you can add items one by one so if you click on add items one by one they're going to ask you what you want to add so you have things like your password secure note address payment card and bank account then if you click on more items you have other things that you can add on to last pass for secure safety as well such as your driver's license info, passport info, social security number, membership, health insurance, instant messenger database, servers, Wi-Fi password, email accounts, SSH key, software license, and other custom item types can also be added. So let's say I want to add a password, then you can add your URL. So you're going to just copy and paste any URL. Let's say I go on to Wix over here. It's going to copy that over here. I'm going to click on paste. 
and you can uh, you're just going to enter the name folder a username and site password so i'm just going to enter that and below that you can also add notes to this password saved as well and then you can also use a require master password refund for certain logins so let's say maybe you want to save a password for somewhere but you don't want it to be automatically filled out from your device every time if anyone else is using your device so you can choose to require the master password reprompt which would be like if i go onto this page and i'm trying to log in what it would do is instead of asking me the page password it would ask last pass would ask me my last pass password to be able to autofill that password and you can also choose to disable autofill or auto login as well so i'm going to click on save and now i simply have my password saved just like that and just like that you can click on add item and you can add more items then if you click on notes you can do the same so you can click on add item on the bottom over here you can add a specific folder so let's say this could be personal notes and then you can also add different attachments you can add your name file name actually or the note name and then you can add whatever secure note that you want click on save over here and now my note has been secured and saved what i also can do is click on settings and below that you have your favorites you have sharing options you also have delete uh, deleting it and recurring it back to its original state as well so you can edit it back to the original whenever you want now if we take a look at the pricing of lastpass the best part is, is that it is available for free as well so you can save unlimited passwords have access on one device type computer or mobile you also have a 13-day free premium trial and save and autofill passwords have one-to-one -one sharing passwordless login and the password generator all for free then at the premium version starting at three dollars per month you have all the free features plus access on all devices so you can use lastpass on multiple devices and you have one-to-many sharing one gigabytes of encrypted file storage security dashboards dark web monitoring the emergency access and priority tech support and then the family's version starting at four dollars per month includes all the premium features Features plus six individual encrypted walls with family management dashboard to manage users and security group and sharing items and folders individual encrypted storages and personal security dashboards and notifications so there are quite a few different features on all versions of lastpass and the basic function is completed for free as well i would definitely recommend that you should use lastpass as a extension like i have over here so you're going to see on your chrome bar if you click on this puzzle icon on your top right you can pin this over over here and then whenever you click on last pass this will be the extension and you can click on open my wallet you can click on recently use add items generate secure password so if you're signing up for a new website then you can choose to generate a new password like this and then copy and paste it and then it would save this password onto your last pass account as well and you also have your all items where you can fill out a different information from here as well so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video